The capital murder trial of James Staley III continues with more witnesses testifying in a Tarrant County courtroom today. Josh Hoggard attended today's proceedings. He joins us now. So Josh, tell us what you heard and saw today. Well, guys, we got started a little bit after 9 a.m. this morning due to defendant James Irvin Staley III showing up just a couple of minutes late to the proceedings. Now, once we did get into underway, testimony picked up right where it left off yesterday in Auxiliary Trial Room A with Prosecutor Lisa Tanner going over evidence taken from Staley's residence with a WFPD crime scene technician on the stand. Physical evidence was then admitted, including a DNA swab from Amber and impressions of prints from both Staley and Amber McDaniel. Then the crib by which Wilder was found was wheeled into the courtroom, along with a sheet and pillow from that crib. During cross-examination, Staley's counsel questioned the procedures by which that evidence was collected, suggesting cross-contamination may have been possible. The next witness called to take the stand was a childhood friend of James Staley's, who was among those that was included in a group text message in which Staley sent a video with derogatory statements to follow about Wilder McDaniel. During this witness's testimony, he referred to Staley as manipulative, and he stated he had an off sense of humor. He testified to eventually sending screenshots of that group message to Amber's best friend at the time to ensure that Amber saw them. After lunch, the former lead detective in the case took the stand. He said when he arrived at Staley's residence at Irving Place, he found Staley not with Amber and Wilder, but sitting in a closet in the fetal position with his knees pulled up to his chest. The detective later said that Staley was cooperative and agreed to sign a consent to search, but when he informed Staley that every death is a criminal investigation until they can prove it isn't, he said Staley began to sob. Later, the court was shown a portion of an interview the detective conducted with Amber McDaniel, and when he mentioned that blood was found in Wilder's crib, Amber can be observed on video expressing shock, covering her mouth, saying, quote, did James do something, and then putting her hands in her face and sobbing uncontrollably. During cross-examination, defense attorney Mark Daniels appeared confrontational toward the detective, questioning some of the facts in his more than 90-page report at times raising his voice to the point where it sounded like he was yelling. Now today, toward the end of proceedings, Judge Everett Young dismissed everybody before cross-examination was done. So that's where we're gonna pick up tomorrow morning with that lead detective. Also sworn in today was a woman by the name of Amber Campisi. If you recognize that name, they are a family of restaurant owners in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Amber's sister, Tara, is the mother of James Staley's child. She's set to testify tomorrow as well. And that's going to get underway right here at the Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's when we'll get started, guys. Okay, Josh, thank you so much for that live update. For extended details from today's testimony and a full recap of daily proceedings, you can head over to TexasOmostHomePage.com.